embracing the freedom we have in Christ. Galatians chapter 5 verse 1 It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. In these words, Paul makes a powerful declaration about the purpose of Christ's work in our lives. Freedom. Christ set us free so that we could live in true freedom. Freedom from sin, from guilt, from the need to prove ourselves, and from the heavy burden of trying to follow the law perfectly to earn God's approval. This freedom is not just a one-time gift. It's meant to be the ongoing state of our lives as believers. But Paul also gives us a warning in this verse. He urges us to stand firm and not to let ourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. So what does this mean? A yoke is something placed on the necks of animals to control them, to keep them working and moving in a certain direction. Paul is saying that before Christ, we were controlled by something, a set of rules, our own sin, our past mistakes, or the expectations of others. These things acted like a yoke, keeping us from living freely. But now, through Christ, that yoke has been removed. However, even though Christ has set us free, there is always a temptation to return to those old ways of thinking and living. The Galatians, for example, were being tempted to return to the Jewish law as a way of earning God's favor even though they had already been set free by Christ. Paul is reminding them and us that going back to those old ways is like putting the yoke back on our necks, willingly choosing slavery over freedom. This verse calls us to reflect on our own lives. What are the yokes that we are tempted to pick up again, even though Christ has set us free? It might be pressure to live up to other people's expectations, the weight of past guilt or shame, or the belief that we have to earn God's love by being perfect. It could even be our own fears and anxieties which can feel like chains holding us back from the freedom God wants us to experience. To stand for means to hold on to the freedom Christ has given us, even when it's hard. It means choosing to trust that what Christ has done is enough, that we don't need to add anything to it, and we don't need to go back to old ways that kept us in bondage. Standing firm also means rejecting the lies that try to pull us back into slavery and instead embracing the truth that we are free in Christ. Living in this freedom doesn't mean life will be easy, but it does mean that we have the strength and grace to face whatever comes our way without being weighed down by burdens we no longer need to carry. It's about leaving the confidence that we are loved, accepted, and empowered by God no matter what. If you find yourself slipping back into old patterns or feeling the weight of expectations, remind yourself of this verse. Take a moment to thank God for the freedom He has given you and ask for the strength to stand firm in that freedom. Trust that Christ's work on the cross is enough and choose to live in the freedom that is your birthright as a child of God. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for the freedom you have given me through Christ. Help me to stand firm in that freedom and not return to the burdens that once held me captive. Give me the strength to trust in your love and grace every day. Amen.